heavy military and police presence in the northern Israeli town of Caesarea on Saturday after a drone was launched reportedly towards the home of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. No casualties were reported. The Israeli military says the drone was launched from Lebanon. Following the strike, Netanyahu took to social media, posting on X that the attempt by Iran's proxy Hezbollah to assassinate him and his wife was a grave mistake. Hezbollah, though, did not claim responsibility for the attack. But the militant group did say it fired several rockets on northern and central Israel. Including here, where missiles were launched from Lebanon toward the northern Israeli port city of Haifa. Also in northern Israel, some of the rockets were intercepted, but one hit a residential area, according to police. One person was killed, and at least nine people were injured in different locations. <laughs> this strike also comes as Israel carried out at least four airstrikes on Beirut's southern suburbs on Saturday, while also issuing evacuation notices for the area. <laughs> Meantime, over in Gaza, where violence continues. Residents of Al Maghazi refugee camp gathered on Saturday to assess the damage left to a home and to search through rubble for bodies and possible survivors after an Israeli airstrike hit the compound. We were sleeping and then we heard explosions without warnings in the area. We came in the morning and we found the area destroyed. <laughs> According to local media outlets, a whole family of 11, including children, were killed. Rescuers and civilians also gathered at a local school, a makeshift shelter for displaced people in Gaza's Shati camp, to search for survivors after a missile landed there. This school, as we can see, is sheltering displaced civilians. Most of them fled here from northern Gaza and sought refuge here because they had no other place to go. They couldn't find any shelter except this school, and tragically, they lost their lives here. The attack left seven Palestinians dead. Hospital officials in Gaza say in less than 24 hours, Israeli strikes have killed over 50 people. The ground operation in the territory continues as Israel moves ahead with its efforts to destroy Hamas's underground network. Netanyahu saying that after the killing of Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar, Israeli forces will forge ahead until the end. Afia Ba, City News.